Welcome back everyone. So in the previous video, we have seen the Visual Studio part. Now let's cover the next two part. What is the use of NuGet Package Explorer and UiPath Studio in this? So this is the NuGet Package Explorer. And this is the DLL file which we created in the previous video over here. So we'll just copy the path of this DLL file. And then we'll go to NuGet Package Explorer. So we'll create a new package and right click on this package content area and add a lib folder. And now we're gonna add our DLL file which we created to this lib folder. So we'll add an existing file and we'll type in the path. So we'll select the DLL file from here, click open. So we have a DLL file over here and we'll save this and that's all, we'll have a new bit package. So this is the metadata and this is also editable. You can click on edit and you can name this package whatever you want to. So we'll name it to my first package. and click on save so you can change all these metadata description from here so click on save and then let's save this yoga package so we'll save this over here only and i'll show how to add this new git package to ui path so we'll copy the path again and we click on save so that's all our new git package is now created from this is how we created from the DLL file, how we created the NuGet package. Now let's go, go to UiPath Studio. So we'll click on process to create a blank process wherein we're gonna use a newly created custom activity. So this is test activity. Now it's creating your process, a blank project. So, so, so now first we have to install our NuGet package so that we can see what activity we have created in the activity panel. So we'll go to manage packages. How to add the newly created package? So let's see how to add the newly created package. So for example, for clicking on connect, you can install all the packages that are present in connect. Similarly, on orchestrator host, all the packages present there. What if you want to add a local path to it and you can use the package that you have created for yourself locally. So you'll have to go to settings, add in the path where you have created and placed your NuGet package. So this is the path, name it something. And click on add. As you click on add, you can see on the left column, you have this my package already created. Go to it, click on it, and you could see your package. My first package is here. So click on it, and on the right hand side, you could see install it. Once it's installed, click on save. And in the dependencies in the this project window, you could see that this dependency would be added to your project. So you could see that my first package is added. Now, once you have the package installed, you can go to the activity panel to use all the activities underneath that package. So we named our activity add or subtract. So we can see here, we have our activity over here. So we'll just drag it. So like this, you can make any of your complex tasks easy and reuse it forever. It would be as easy as drag and drop. Type the first argument to the addition. And then we'll type in the second one. So it's 10, 15, 25. So we'll now set it to a variable. So the shortcut for creating a variable is control K, type in the variable name and enter. And now let's drag a message box and we'll type the value result one dot two string because
exit box only takes up string variable. Now we click on run to see what's the answer. So it's 25. Similarly, we'll now perform subtraction. So from that thing, from the drop down, we'll now select operation as subtraction and click on run. And now we'll see the result. It's minus 5 because 10 minus 15 is minus 5. So we've seen that how to create a way a custom activity in Visual Studio and then convert the DLL file to NuGet package and use that NuGet package in UiPath Studio. So I hope this helps and you could create more complex custom activity using this thing to ease your task. Happy automation and you can drop in your queries or anything you want to ask in the comment section below. And in my next video, I'll be covering that how can you, you create custom activities using UiPath Studio, which is a bit easier than using Visual Studio. So let's uh, move to the next video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.